This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 41, and verse 13. A good life have but few days, but a good name endure forever. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth in sincerity. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachakudash, Brak Dum, to use a you know your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the whole full elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. And of course, keeping faith in Heavenly Father Yahweh and His beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior, and our King Yahweh Shai Hamashiach in these last days and these perilous times that we are living in. This is Brother Shai Ban Yahshua. Allah. This will be a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai and how the elect men will have a great name that endures for ever okay legacy okay the joint heirs of our lord and our savior and our king yahweh shah mashiach the only god and son of the heavenly father yahweh man all right the elect men low willing of that number so we have to keep fighting we have to keep pushing enduring all into the latter end all right striving for righteousness striving for the truth even unto death man all right no matter what we're faced with in these last days we have to keep our faith keep our integrity keep our hope and belief all right, our confidence in Yahweh Bashim al Shai. You see, because what we're doing on this side, it will echo for all eternity, man. It will be talked about for generations to come. All right, your children's 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 children will speak about you, will read about you. All right, and how you endured no matter what temptation was thrown your way. All right, in corruptible flesh, man. Because we got to remember when our Lord Yahweh Shai returns. And delivers the elect Lord and brother, that number We're going to get changed to them perfect new bodies And we'll be within a new covenant Okay, where the law is written within our inward parts So our children from that time on Will be born 100% perfect But they will read about how it was once a time where We had corruptible flesh Going back to the evil seed that was sown in the heart of Adam From the beginning And how we had to, that was a fight We had to, um, uh, the battle we had to fight Upon the earth, man Alright, and everybody, damn my, my father, my forefather really endured all of this Temptation, they'll they be able to read and understand the different spirits and demons that was attacking brothers, all right? Hopping on people next to you, attacking you, all right? You endured through it all, all right? Esau came down with that great wrath. You kept your faith in Yahweh Bashim al Shai, all right? You didn't sell out, take the, the Kragm of the beast, whatever the case may be, get down with the New Order system. You endured and kept faith and confidence in Yahweh Bashim al Shai. They'll read about that and they'll, man, that's, that's what you're fighting for, man. All right, they'll read about that and be like, wow, he's actually incredible flesh. That's powerful. So what the Heavenly Father is doing is making his elect have that great name. All right, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, will exalt the elect men. All right, like he did for King David, King Solomon, Samson. All right, the prophets we read of old, Jeremiah, Daniel. All right, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Micah. All right, the, 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 the Maccabean, uh, the, the Maccabees. All right, Mattathias went down to his, his um his his sons, man. All right, during that beautiful time as well, the disciples, the apostles. All right, all throughout you know history, our history, you know Israelite history, we always we always had men. All right, and you in this you know uh, sincere sisters as well, our full mothers that was righteous and fear Yahweh Bashim Al got delivered our situations as well, and they've written about. Okay, so we we we're enduring for what that great name that's gonna endure forever, man. All right. So what you do on this side, like I said, it's going to echo for all eternity. So what you want to be remembered for? All right. Do you want to be remembered for the guy that uh, gave up hope to, at the last second? All right. Let's get a quick precept. And this is what me and the brothers are talking about um, towards the end of camp today through the spirit, man. And that's what inspired this lesson. It was, it was, I was, it was heavy. Meditating upon, um, I was meditating upon it, man. It was heavy on my spirit to, t uh, to touch on this. Look at Daniel 12 and verse uh, 2. It says, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, the elect, and some to shame and everlasting contempt, man. All right. And that goes to a long duration of time. So for a long period of time, the wicked of our nation that comes back within the kingdom of heaven, they won't be, you know, having that shame and contempt. All right. They're going to be feeling down. They're going to be feeling, you know, sorrowful. All right. Maybe weeping and crying and feeling, you know, horrible. But damn, man, look at everything I was doing. 
And those that was in the truth and faith and fell, fell out the truth and faith at the end because of temptation, whatever the case may be, all right? They're going to be ashamed, man. They're like, damn, man, you know? And you don't want to be those people. You see, you want to you want, you want to be those that wait to everlasting life, man. All right? Life eternal of being joined is with Yahweh Shai. So you have, to, you have to meditate upon this, all right? What legacy do you want to leave behind, man? All right? Like we read about the seven brothers that literally laid their life on the line because they don't want to break the laws of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. And they said, literally, literally, one of the brothers said, you know, I despise my members, my body parts for the laws of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. And that's Romans 12 chapter, make our bodies living sacrifice for Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right? We love not our lives even unto the death. All right? Because we understand that, that reputation, that good name, having faith and confidence in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right? Not selling our sanity, not selling our souls. All right, our integrity, our morals, all right, to make it on, on this side of the world or to even continue, to, to briefly continue our, our life for a small season, all right, on this side, we understand that that's nowhere near, you can't compare that to what the Lord about to bless us with, man, was promised to the children of Israel, all right, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel, man, all right, let's get the um, next priest I want to get, you get the book of um, First Maccabees, Brother Allah, yeah, I read this earlier too. First Maccabees, is it 1 and 50 or 2 and 50? Let me see. I think it's 1 and 50. I could be mistaken on that. All right, maybe 2 and 50. I know it's in the 50s though. Come. This first Maccabees chapter 2 and verse 50. It says, Now therefore, my sons, this is what, this is what Mattathias and Matthias is telling his sons, Judas, Jonathan, Simon, Eleazar, on down, right? He's telling his sons this. Now, now, therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. So shall ye receive great honor and an everlasting name. Did they not receive an everlasting name? Do we not read about them today? Yes, we do. In the Apocrypha, the book of Maccabees, man. All right. And as much as the Feast of Dedication, which, you know, that's when we got uh, victory of um. And Joseph's Epiphanies rededicated the temple, all right? Uh, that holiday, that holy day, all right, is, was celebrated in John, the 10th chapter, verse 22. Our Lord Yahweh Shah walked to Solomon's porch during the Feast of Dedication on Hanukkah. And we go into the blue letter and let you know the history on that. So Our Lord Yahweh Shah, the only begotten son of the Father, celebrated and, and, and what's the word? Uh, is it rev uh, reverenced? This holiday, this holy day. All right, the feast dedication. So, even the time of Roman Empire, which I was the empire right after the Greek Empire, okay, on down to the fall of Rome, Byzantine, on down to we are today, we still could read about these men. You see that they have an everlasting name. Let's get that with King David. All right, because ultimately, who get the glorification? Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. He does the exalting. We get First Peter fifth chapter going to that as well. Humble yourself, hum, humble yourselves in the sight of the heavenly Father Yahweh, that He may exalt you in due time. Okay. Look at 2 Samuel chapter 7, straight to the point, verse 9. Matthew chapter 7, verse 8, it says, um, And now therefore, so shalt thou say unto my servant David, this is talking about King David, all right, the most I'm telling this to Samuel to tell to David, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I took thee from the sheep coat, from following the sheep to be ruler over my people over Israel. And that's what happened to the elect. It's not the, 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 the prophets, the men of the Lord on the highways and hedges, feeding the sheep, taking care of the sheep, being shepherds and ultimate chief shepherds, Yahweh Shah, of course. All right. But the nation of Israel, like into sheep. All right. You know, sheep could be simple. They could be led astray, but they also listen. They also humble. They also meek. All right. So that's the that's the elect, the sheep of Yahweh Shai. So the same thing David did took care of the sheep. That same thing the elect is doing. And that's what the Lord Yahweh Shai told to Peter. What's further proves Peter was King David. He said, if you love me, feed my sheep, feed my lambs, feed my sheep. All right. He was the head of the church. All right. So he, he went from being that to being ruler over the nation of Israel. And that's the elect men, period, man. All right? Going from taking care of the sheep, being fishers of men, all right? Edifying the sheep, all right? Correcting the sheep, all right? Comforting the sheep, exhorting the sheep, edifying the sheep, to being joint heirs, rulers with Yahweh Shai over the 12 tribes and children of Israel. So, uh, what did Allah Yahweh Shai tell that to the apostle Peter? He, when Peter asked him, what shall we have there for? He said, in the regeneration, you shall, you shall sit upon 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel, man. I mean, they're going to be rulers, all right? Uh, they're going to be order and rank in the kingdom because all the nation of Israel will be perfect.
but it'll be rank and order. And you have that legacy, that top spot, that great name for all eternity. And like I mentioned earlier, the wicked of our nation are going to get born back in the kingdom, but they're going to have the everlasting shame and contempt. Meaning for a long duration of time, they'll feel down about the acts they did on this side. All right. Verse 9, 2 Samuel 7 and 9. And I was with thee, whithersoever thou winnest, and have cut off all thine enemies out of thy sight, and have made thee a great name. Uh, the Most High made King David Lord a great name, like unto the name of the great men that are in the earth. Okay? So, man, that's powerful right there, man. All praise Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. That's what the Lord Most High did for King David. He, in these last days, he's raising up the tabernacle of David, the house of David, the Bayaf Dawuda. The 144,000, man. Lord, and we're of that number. So remember this going into Jacob's trouble, going into the time of all hell breaking loose and famines and death plagues, pestilence, when Esau come down with that great wrath and try to force everyone to take the crime of the beast. Remember this. Do you want to have a great name? What legacy are you going to leave behind? Okay? You got to remember this. Think about the future. Think about all the eternity. Don't just think about the here and now. All right? Don't walk by uh, uh, sight. Walk by faith, man. All right? You have to remember this. So look at some more precepts of having that good name. I'm going to go back to the, the, the first one I started off with. All right? Because it's more now when it get through the spirit. Let's get um, Proverbs 22 and 1. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. And it says, in love and favor rather than silver and gold. All right? It says, the rich and poor meet together. The Lord is the make of them all. All right? So it's, it's more on this chapter too. It's a Beautiful chapter, great chapter, but but the point is what a good name is better than uh, uh, to be chosen is rather to be chosen in great riches, man. All right, so what uh, that good reputation? You see, let's get Ecclesiastes seven one. A good name is better than precious ointment in the day of, in the day of death than the day of one's birth. All right, so the point I wonder what that good name. All right, <clears throat> in the Most High, He called us by our name. All right. In the heavens, in, uh, what it said in Isaiah 49, verse 1, by my name have you mentioned me? Don't you want your name written in etched in stone, man? In the walls in the kingdom? Isaiah 41 and 9. Listen, O owls, unto me, and hearken, O ye, o ye people, from far. The Lord have called me from the womb, from the bowels of my mother, have he made mention of my name. All right? So if you have the elect, that's it. You have the elect. The most I mean mention of your name in the, in the heavens, man. Okay? Let me see something right fast. <clears throat> yep, yep. Let's get some more precepts, man. Through the Spirit, oh praise Yahweh, Bashim Al Shai. When you get the Book of Revelation, let's see. Let me see. This is good too. The twenty-first chapter is a beautiful one. Ooh, this is good too. Let me read right. Philippians 4 and 3. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers whose names are, are in the book of life. Whose names are in the book of life. You even got women, sisters, whose names are in the book of life. Okay? God mentioned that earlier as well. You see? Let's get this. Uh, Revelation 3 and 5. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels, man. Okay? So this is important, man. You got to meditate upon this. You see? So this is what we're fighting for to have that legacy, everlasting name, immortality, righteousness. Okay? Let's see. Uh, yeah, all this is good, man, through the spirit. I'm just scrolling through some precepts. All right? But let's go back to what I started off with, all right? Because more I want to get on. I want to get the verse 13, 12, as a matter of fact. Sirach chapter 41, what I have. In verse, like, let's get to verse 12. So Sirach 41 and 12. Have regard to thy name, for that shall continue with thee above a thousand great treasures of gold, man. So have regard to your name, your reputation, you know, who you are. Okay? What you stand for through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And we stand for righteousness. We stand for Yahweh Bashim al Shai. All right, verse 13. A good life have but few days, but a good name endureth forever, man. All right? So, brothers, this is what we're fighting for, man. Our legacy, having our, our names written in the book of life. So we're going to the writings of the house of Israel as well, the book of Ezekiel. So you want to be, you know, talked about 
in the world to come and how you stood stiffy for the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Let's get that as a matter of fact. I mean, end it off. Something quick, straight to the point. Second Ezra chapter 2, in verse uh, 42, it says, I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord's songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of the Most High Yahweh. Now they crowned and received palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowned them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of Yahweh whom they have confessed in the world, and we, conf and we confess our Savior openly, the book of Tobit. All right. Also, the same chapter early on, like thir verse 30 on down. You see that? We're confessing Yahweh shot openly. That's the son of the Most High. So who's crowning the elect and giving them gifts and palms and, and offices and rank? Yahweh Shai, and do not to the elect. So the elect men will have what? The elect men will have a great name that endures forever. That legacy being joined as Yahweh Shai. Those are the stiffly. Let's read on. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiff for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what men of things and of great wonders of the Lord thy power thou hast seen, man. All right? So that's what we're fighting for, man, having that good name. All right. Our name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life, man. All right. Etched in stone in the kingdom. People talking about you, your, your children, your, 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 your great, great grandchildren speaking about you, reading about you, and how you stood stiffy for the name Yahweh Bashim al Shad. So you want the everlasting name, immortality, that great name that King David had on down to other men of the Lord that had that, that um, great name. All right. What we got to do? Endure. Always to the light of end, man. No matter what we're faced with. Okay? So with that, let's give all honor, glory, and infinite praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachai Kodash, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa Baba Ba, Shalom.